Now quickly we will move on to the next uh, important uh, initiative, the award ceremony of ICTST Innovator Awards. Before that, uh, today we are signing up a new partnership with K7 Computing. Uh, we all understand staying safe online is always important to us because kids at home and even grandparents today are online always and there is a need for understanding and there is a need for awareness creation on cyber security. So we are going to work along with K7 in creating cyber security awareness. Now I would request the managing director, founder, CEO of K7, Mr. K7 to come up to the dice and I would request our CEO to exchange the MOU between K7 and ICTACT, which will be a new, I would request you to just come forward and exchange the MOU. So through this initiative, ICT Academy gets into a new area of creating cyber security awareness with a big round of applause. <laughs> K7 is the first company who will support this initiative. So we will do a lot of initiatives in the area of cyber security followed by our digital literacy and entrepreneurship development social initiatives. Thank you so much, sir. I would request Mr. K7 to stay uh, in the dice. K7 Computing is the uh, partner for Student Innovator Award. So can we quickly have the video of Student Innovator Award 2015? So quickly let me go through the five slides of ICTACT Student Innovator Award 2015. Uh, this year, this is the fourth uh, edition and this year we have categorized into five different categories. IT related streams in one category, mechanical, automobile, aeronautical under another category, electrical, electronics, civil and architecture and management are the five categories of innovations that were called for. And these are the number of applications putting together 2,439 projects have been nominated for this year's Innovator Award. And this projects were put into a detailed scrutiny. It started with online application. There was an internal review and there was a blind review by the experts who are sitting here without the name of the person. Many HODs sitting here has reviewed various projects. From that, the top 12 went in for a final presentation to the jury comprising of members from the industry. We had industry experts from leading manufacturing, IT, automobile companies who were the final jury and the evaluation was based on the methodology, the commercial viability and the measurable benefits of the project, the wow factor, the out of box thinking and what, what, what amount of research has gone inside the project. So this initiative is as an objective of first making sure every student is doing a good project when he completes his final year, while innovation was the main key. So now we have come to uh, a, a stage where these are the finalists, while there were top 10 who came for the final round and presented to the industry jury, these are the top two or three finalists who are here among this uh, audience today. And now we will announce the runners first, and this is the ICTACT Innovator Award 2015 runners who will be getting the awards from the dignitaries in the dais. I would request the guests to just move here and I would request all of you to give away the awards to the runners first and to the winners next.
I would request Mr. K7 to come. So, runner category in the mechanical and automobile category, Mount Zion College of Engineering and Technology, Pudukote, the students Sudarshan, Selva Kumar, and Panmuthu for their project suppression of boring tool vibration using magno terological fluid damper. I would request the students along with their guide and the HOD to come up to the dais and to receive your runner award. I would request all the innovators to make it fast because innovators are always fast. With a big round of applause because they have, even though they are runner, they have come long way after scrutiny of 500 projects. Okay, let me announce the next category. The runners of electrical and electronics category goes to Poway Engineering College Namakkal and the students G. Pradeep Kumar and G. Karthik for the smart fuel management for commercial load vehicles. So I would request the students of Poway Engineering College to receive their runner award from the big trees in the dais. So the next category, IT and Computer Science, the runners goes to Bandari Amman Institute of Technology, Erod for their project detection analysis of brain tumor by digital image processing. I would request the guide and the faculty member from the Bandari Amman Institute of Technology to receive the award. Unfortunately, the student is not here due to her sudden travel from there. So we have members from the institution, the faculty members who will receive the award. So this year, the jury has recommended another college as a runner for IT and computer science stream. So we have Shakti Institute of Engineering and Technology, Goyamathur. The students Sri Vignesh and P. Harishankar for their project, Automatic Electronic Recharge for Mobile SIM. So I would request the students along with their guides to receive their award, the runner-up award for IT and computer science stream. Finally, we have the civil and architecture category. We have the runner-up goes to Kungu Engineering College, Perundurai. We have Mr. Arun Kumar for the project production of electricity from cement matrix cake. So I would request the members from Kungu Engineering College, the students along with their guides to come up and receive your runner-up award under the civil and architecture category. So this year's award is as usual sponsored and covered by K7 Computing. Thank you K7 for supporting this initiative year on year. Thank you so much all the runners. We should give a big round of applause to all the runners because even though they are runners, they have made out of 500 plus applications under each category. And unfortunately, the jury found none of the project met their uh, criteria or the evaluation parameters under the management category. So this year management category there are no winners or no runners. So that's the saddest part. Anyway, the decision is left to the jury and ICTACT has no role to play on it. So now let me announce the winners. So the first winner of mechanical and automobile category goes to Park College of Engineering and Technology. For the project, L. Sriram and S. Bubalan has done flexible human crutch. So this project has been selected as the winner for the mechanical and automobile stream. So we are having the students along with their CEO, Mrs. Anusha, along with their entire faculty and principal team who will receive the winning cup along with the cash prize of 10,000 which will be given to the students as a token of appreciation under this award. Okay, let me announce the next category of winners. So I will request only the students to stay back here for a final group photograph while the 
chairmen and the teachers can go down. So the next category is electrical and electronics category. We have Sri Ramakrishna Engineering College, Coimbatore, winning up the winning award for the electrical and electronics category. The students Soumya Narayanan and G. Hema win this title for their project Audio Visual Entertainment and Acupressure Therapy. And uh, we have the principal of the college and along with the teachers, the students receiving their award. So a big round of applause to the Ramakrishna Engineering College, Kaimathur, the students of SRAC. Thank you so much. The next category, IT and Computer Science. We have students of Adhyaman College of Engineering of Hosur who are winners of the IT and Computer Science for their unique project Ujavan Puttakam, a web-based system of effective form collaboration of farmers. And another unique point of this project is, this project has been well appreciated by all the jury members and there is a jury member who is willing to take this project up in their organization and make it into a big way. So a big round of applause coming from a rural background, coming from a rural district, these students were able to win the top award under the IT and computer science category. So congratulations to Adhyaman College of Engineering, Kumilipuni Husur students. The next is the Civil and Architecture category. We have Mekko Engineering College, Sivagasi. The student R. Sukanya has won this project, winning the title for the project title Impact of Hollow Silica Spears in Thermal Insulating Property of Sugarcane Bagasse Ash, Clay Bricks. So she's from Metro Engineering College, Sivagasi, and she wins the title of the winner under the Civil and Architecture category. So we have the... So congratulations to all the winners. I would request all the winners, the students alone, to join with the guests there for a group photograph. I would request all the student winners to join the guests for a one group photograph. You can come down and sit in front of the guests. You can hold your trophies and your checks. Some of you can sit down. Sit down here. Come. Sit down. Ukarna. So let's give a big round of applause to the Student Innovators 2015. This is the big day for them. And thank you so much K7 Computing for sponsoring this. Thank you K7, the Managing Director and CEO for supporting this. <laughs>